Hello, Prep Careers class. This is a video for September 2nd. Today, we're going to review the jobs, amusement and recreation attendance, and baggage and bellhops. Amusement and recreation attendance. These workers help people at parks, skating rinks, and other fun places. The job outlook is three stars. Amusement and recreation attendants perform many different tasks. They ar arrange time for use, give out gear, collect fees, prepare gear for use, help customers use the gear, run rides and games, sell food and other goods, work with young children, and arrange activities. Amusement and recreation attendants have different um, job titles depending on where they work. Some of these titles are bowling pin setter, golf caddy, skate shop attendant, ride operator, card room attendant, camp counselor. For this job, the personal skills and knowledge needed, um, you must be able to work with the public and operate tools and equipment. The physical needs that you must have for this job are strength, mobility, good hearing, and stamina. Working conditions. Most of these jobs are done outdoors in good weather. Attendants stand for long hours. They bend, reach, and move all around, uh, around all the time. Some must be able to lift heavy boxes. Many of these jobs are seasonal. There's a lot of work in the spring and summer. This is when people like to go to parks and play outside. Many amusement and recreation attendants work part-time. Starting out and moving up. The high school a high school diploma is not usually required. Training is done on the job. Workers can get experience by volunteering for fundraising events. Workers need to be friendly and well-groomed. Advancement for these workers usually means full-time work. A high school diploma and training in something special like music or sports may be required. Workers who go on to college can become recreation leaders. Now we are going to watch a video over recreation attendance. At ski hills, bowling alleys, water slides, and golf courses, and other places people go for fun and sport, amusement and recreation attendants operate equipment and help guests enjoy themselves. Attendants sell tickets and collect fees from customers. They rent equipment such as go-karts, tennis rackets, and boats, and make sure customers know how to operate vehicles and equipment safely and properly. Many also operate concession stands, games, rides, and make sure guests are safe and know the rules. Customer service skills are an important part of the job. Attendants provide a lot of information about schedules, policies, and directions. They often encourage participation and purchases. Many are responsible for collecting attendance and totaling up receipts. Attendants also clean facilities and equipment and keep them maintained, for example, placing markings on sports fields or smoothing ice at rinks after use. Some positions include scheduling the use of equipment and facilities. Attendants typically have no specific education or training requirements and do not require previous work experience. The next job that we are going to talk about oops, is baggage and bellhops. Baggage porters and bellhops. These workers help people when they are traveling. The job outlook is two stars. Baggage porters work at places like airports and train stations. Bellhops work at hotels and other places to stay. They check in bags and carry bags. Bellhops may also be asked to take packages and messages or run errands for hotel guests. Personal skills and knowledge needed for these jobs. Um, you must be able to work with the public. Physical needs. You must have strength, mobility, good hearing, and stamina. The working conditions. 
Baggage porters and bellhops work inside and outside in all kinds of weather. They load and unload bags from cars, trains, and airplanes. Workers are on their feet lifting and bending all the time. The bags they carry are often heavy. Baggage porters and bellhops work all shifts because they travel at all times. Because people travel at all times. Working out, I mean, sorry, starting out and moving up. Places like airports and train stations usually require a high school diploma for new trainees. Hotels and motels do not usually require one. Workers are trained on the job. Workers with experience are more likely to get jobs at the best places where income is high. They advance to better hours and more pay. Some become supervisors or move on to a closely related job like desk clerk. Now we are going to watch a video on bellhops. Whether they're caring for guests at a hotel or shepherding travelers' luggage onto buses and planes, baggage porters and bellhops lighten the loads of travelers. At airports and other transit hubs, baggage porters assist with checking luggage. They receive and label baggage in boxes and provide information for travelers. They may also be expected to keep an eye out for any suspicious activity or items. At hotels, bellhops greet incoming guests, handle their luggage, and guide them around facilities. Bellhops and porters may also be responsible for other duties, such as giving guests directions, setting up conference rooms, delivering messages and room service orders, and assisting guests with special needs. Baggage porters and bellhops usually work full-time schedules, although hours may flex depending on the week's events and activities at a hotel or resort. These workers typically need a high school diploma or equivalent. So this was the first two um, types of jobs that we were, that we were gonna discuss today. Um, and then we will move on to the next couple of jobs in this area of general service. Um, I hope you have a good rest of your day and I will see you back here tomorrow. Bye.